Thank you, Matt. Now 533. Last night at Bozeman's uh, City Commission meeting, there was a special presentation about how some city employees are making less than $15 an hour. MTN's Madaris Bab has more on those numbers. Before August, there were 17 employees making less than $13 an hour. Now, there are none. The city manager has increased the wages of 17 employees. This is really great news for those 17 employees. Um, it helps this conversation as we do have all regular employees, full and part-time employees, currently at at least $13 per hour. So no one is paid less than $13 per hour if they work year-round. Even though there are no longer any workers making less than $13 an hour, there are 27 city employees making less than 15. City Commissioner Terry Cunningham, who started the minimum wage conversation, says he knows the struggle of not earning a livable wage. When I was a low wage worker for the City of White Plains Recreation and Parks Department, thank goodness that Wendy's offered ketchup and free crackers because you could add that to boiling water and, and make yourself some soup and, and crackers. Um, so we all do what we can to sort of get by. Looking at different city positions starting wage, Assistant City Manager Anna Rosenberry says it will take close to five years for the lowest paid position to get $15 an hour. And we believe that we've got a good path forward here. Um, it's a reasonable and workable way to approach that $15 an hour target for the future. In June, commissioners put aside $20,000 from this year's budget towards minimum wage. The city says that increasing 17 city employees' wage to $13 an hour will cost a maximum of $22,000. In Bozeman, Medeiros Bap, MTN News. Now, the city's minimum wage of $13 an hour only applies to part-time or full-time employees. Seasonal workers are excluded from that.